today we are going to be going over a hollow 3D cube. Ah! First thing we're going to do is create a new composition. So I'm just going to create a new shape layer. So you're going to right click this box, go over new and then select shape layer. All right. So now we can just make this any length we want and then we can just cut it. And what we're going to do is create a shape. Just make a shape. This can be any shape, but we're doing a cube. So do square rectangle. It's going to like try to make its own shape, but you're just going to press shift and then it'll be like this. Once you do that, we're going to right click the shape layer and then we're going to go over transform and then we're going to press center anchor point in layer content. Now we're going to press control home and then this is just going to center the anchor point. So, so first thing you want to do is make this 3d and then you're going to duplicate it five times. So press control D and then in total you should have six. And then after we do that, we're going to change our view to custom view one. And then what we're going to do is make our cube. So we're going to press R on the second layer and then you're going to change the Y rotation to 90. And then you're going to like try to snap it with this. Oh shoot. Um, so of course it doesn't want to snap, but if it doesn't like snap properly, you're just going to turn this off and on. Oh, so it wants to be, oh, there we go. It snapped guys. Now we're going to go to our third layer, press R and then we're going to change the X rotation to 90 and then we're going to place this at the bottom. It doesn't matter which order you do this in, but just make sure it's a cube. And then we're going to change the fourth layer. We can just push this back and put it on this side right here. You might have to like play around with it because it doesn't want to snap. It's super weird guys. What the heck? Boy, if you don't get your squiggly. There we go. And then we're going to change this layer right here, press R and then we're going to change this one to... 90, Y rotation. Now we're gonna snap this right here. Okay, it snapped. And then we're gonna go to our last layer and we're gonna change the X rotation to 90. And then we're gonna move this one to the top since that's the last little piece. All right. So now we have a cube. It's very white, so you're not gonna really see it that well. But what we're gonna do to make it hollow, we're gonna press this layer right here. And then we're gonna press this fill button right here. And then we're gonna change it to no fill. So press this. You can't really see it yet, but you have to do this process for all of the layers. So you're gonna press fill again, no fill. Then you go this one, boom, no fill. And then you're just gonna keep doing that until you get to the last one. Boom, no fill, boom, boom, fill, no fill. And then we have our cube. It's hollow, guys. This is amazing. So now we can change this custom view one back to active camera. Now to animate this cube, we're gonna right click the box right here, press new. And then we're gonna go to null object or you can press control shift alt y i believe yep select this first one and then we're gonna hold shift and select this last one and then we're gonna link this to the null layer make sure this is 3d so just press that box and then once we rotate it as we can see it rotates but the anchor point is very wonky so what we have to do is go back to active camera go to custom view one and then hold y on your keyboard and move this arrow to like right here while holding Y. Once we go back and we try to rotate it, it's kind of fixed. Okay guys, so once you think your cube is all centered, go back to active camera and then we can animate it to whatever you want. So I'm gonna press R on my keyboard, press all these if you want, and then we're gonna go over here, like somewhere around here. And then we're just gonna rotate this. I'm just gonna rotate this way. And then what we're going to do after that, graph it. So we're going to select all of these, right click one of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, select one of them like up here, select the graph. And since this is on speed graph, I'm just going to do something. I'm going to go to this one, like this. We add motion blur. And once we play this back, oh shoot, this is really fast. We can drag this out a little bit more. All right. And then we have our cube. If you want, you can actually add pictures in this cube. So to make the picture 3D and they're going to connect the picture to the null layer. And then once you play it back, it'll move with it, but it's not in the center. So what we have to do is move this arrow thing inside the cube. And then once you play it back, we have a picture in the cube. Now we're going to pre-compose all of these. 
and then we're gonna duplicate this pressing Control D and then we're just gonna add deep glow to like give it more coolness thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what tutorials you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next video bye